Hi, I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'm a soul sculptor. I help you break the mold of past trauma and heartbreaks so that you can live the life of your dreams. And that is what I do. <laughs> Today, I want to talk to you about the power of perspective. Now, what could that matter to you? Well, I'm gonna tell you a little story. I uh, had a girl who was watching my pets for me when I was going out of town. And I left everything set up for her. I left her a long list of where things could be located and what was where and scooped the cat litter twice a day and all of these things. Now she, she watched my cats and my, my dog for, I think it was five days. And on the day I was returning home, she says to me in a message, where's the cat litter? And I'm thinking, good Lord, <laughs> not only did I write it on the list where it was, but I put it right outside the bathroom door where the cat litter was located. But here's the thing, and this is what I want, I'm gonna paint this picture for you. I'm gonna tell you a different version of this as well. She was looking for a bag of cat litter, not a box of cat litter. In her house, the way they got cat litter was in a bag. So what we're used to looking for is what we generally continue to look for. So if you want change in your life, you can't continue to look for the same thing because you'll never find something new. Does that make, make sense? Or here's another, another idea. Everybody goes to the grocery store, the supermarket, right? We go shopping for what it is we want to buy. So we go into the store and, and maybe you're shopping in a different locale, a different supermarket maybe, where they have different brands. And you're looking for a particular package and you look all over the store and you don't see it. And then you ask someone to, to give you some help and they go, oh, it's right over here on the bottom shelf there. And they show it to you, but it's not what you expected. So you didn't see it. So when we keep looking for something to appear in a certain way, whether it's the new partner, <laughs> the new job, the new client, if we're looking for a particular package, we're only going to see the old type of packaging, not the new. So we have to expand our minds. We have to use our imagination. We need to recognize what's being put in front of us, even if it appears differently. Now you may have a Facebook friend that you have been friends with for six years but you haven't had a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them. So you don't see them perhaps as a potential soulmate or partner or boyfriend or girlfriend. You've, you've seen them only from a different perspective. That as a flat, um, a flat type of individual with no depth because you haven't seen them in this way before. Does that make sense? So we have to expand our minds. We have to look for the things that we're not normally looking for. So if we, if we have a dog at home, <clears throat> excuse me, if we have a dog at home that's very small or very big, then we are used to a certain size dog, right? So when we go out in the world and we see a dog that looks different than ours, we go, oh, well, that's different. I am not used to that kind of dog. It's perspective. It's what are we used to seeing? So to have something different, we need to use our imagination. We need to envision the possibilities and the possibilities are endless. You know, I just came back from a week long trip with my daughter to Ireland and I'm going to elucidate this point with this story. Now, my daughter didn't think that what I said was true. I said, we're going to Ireland. We're going for a week. I have bought the tickets. We are going. And she goes, well, I can't, Mom. I can't take a week off work. You know, if I don't work, I don't get paid. And I said, Ariel, 
I'm the same way. If I don't work, I, I don't get paid. Even though I'm, I'm doing coaching, I'm doing healing. You know, if I'm not working, I'm not being paid. I said, but I know we're supposed to go on this trip. So, you know, the universe is going to open up the doors for this to happen. And what did I do? I launched a new program or an old program with a new twist, the Akashic Records. And voila, that was done. So there's this. But also, <laughs> I offered my daughter a new possibility because she's in this box thinking, I can only make money from the restaurant. I said, no, honey, you've got all these abilities and talents. You are you know, a psychic extraordinaire. She was born awake. She remembered who her, her past lives, her, her past fathers, and she remembered her children. She remembered dying in a fire with her kids. So this child was born awake and she's a beautiful being of light and so intuitive, but she didn't see herself in that way. She only saw herself as, well, my education is to be a baker. I'm a, I'm a chef, I'm a cook in the restaurant. I, I work in this restaurant, this is what I do. But it's not just what she does, she does all these other things as well in her daily life. So we all have talents and abilities, but if, if we are not able to see ourselves as an expanded being. You know, back in 2001, I opened a landscape business. I hadn't done landscaping professionally. I, I had become a master gardener, but I hadn't done landscaping professionally. I did it for 11 years and I was very good at what I did. And then that was done, I was done with that, sold the business, moved on, and then in 2011, I took the coaching program. In, in 1998, I became a hypnotherapist. I, so I shifted my focus and I started down a different path, opening other doors. Do you see, you see what happens here? So what you may be doing right now may not be all that you're capable of, but your perspective has only been, well, my education is in this. So just recently, I started painting. I hadn't painted before. And, you know, I'm writing a series of children's books. And it, this is a new skill for me. I was looking for someone to illustrate the books for me. And when I started painting, I discovered I had talent. So until you tap that skill set, until you do something differently than what you've been doing, what you're accustomed to doing, you're not going to change your perspective. So you could ask for guidance. How, how could I easily and effortlessly do something that I love that will tap into my gifts and abilities where I earn money just for being me, just for doing the things I love? Wouldn't that be amazing? That's what I do. I earn money doing things that I love, uh, helping others, helping others, <clears throat> excuse me, love themselves like I learned to do, helping others overcome fibromyalgia, Epstein-Barr, depression, anxiety. So maybe you've, you've overcome something that others haven't, and maybe it was a huge challenge to do so. You could write a book about that you could help others achieve the same results. But we have to shift our perspective to do so. So if you think of yourself as a one-dimensional being, that I am only this and only that, I'm only a daughter, I'm only a caregiver, I am, so we cannot look at ourselves as the only thing. What are the expanded abilities that I could possibly have? Look at yourself with a new and fresh perspective. So instead of going to the grocery store, looking for the package only to be in a red and white bag, maybe it's multicolored, maybe it's rainbow colored, um, you know, it could be anything. So perhaps you've thought about writing a book. And I've had a lot of people ask me to help them write a book because I'm now on book number five. 
And, you know, the, here's the thing that I have done that I, for the last several years, I've been focusing on a bestseller, a bestseller, a bestseller, I'm a bestseller, and then that happened. And so wherever we focus our energy is instead of thinking of ourself as a failure, a fake, or um, of no consequence, think of yourself as infinitely successful. Envision yourself doing what you want to do. Envision yourself being in the position, making the money that you would dream of making, having 200,000 or 300,000 sitting in the bank. Envision what would you be doing if you had 300,000 sitting in the bank right now? How would you feel? So when you, when you start to tap into the way you would feel to change your situation, maybe it's a million dollars you want or two million dollars. Maybe you're living in a two million dollar home. How would you feel? Just envision it. Close your eyes. It's okay. Nobody's going to bite you. How would you feel to have a million dollars in the bank? Whether it's to win it or to earn it, it doesn't matter. How would that feel to you? I, I'd love to hear what your dreams are. So right underneath this, this video, what are your dreams? What are you dreaming of right now? What have you always wished you could do? Now, one of the dreams that I've had for a long time was to visit the Seychelles Islands. And you know, today I had a conversation with someone who's been to the Seychelles Islands, has told me how beautiful they are. And I go, yes, that's on my, it's on my must do list. It is one of the few places I have been dreaming of for 30 years and never been to. The other places I have gr gradually c crossed off my list. So thank you for watching today. What I want you to take away is that our perspective is everything. So if we think of ourselves as poor and poverty stricken, we can't have more because our consciousness is at that poor and poverty stricken level. If you want to be a successful writer, you've got to envision yourself as already successful. Even if you haven't written the book, envision yourself on that bestseller list and then write your book. It will happen. You know, I told my daughter we would go to Ireland. She didn't believe me. And I said, honey, I told you I was going to take you to Ireland for my birthday. This is my birthday gift to me. My birthday is in October. And um, so it's, it's amazing how we, you know, it all gelled. It all took place. It all happened beautifully, easily, and effortlessly. And we had a blast. We had a fabulous time because I envisioned it as being a wondrous and happy experience where I gifted my daughter this trip. How wonderful it was for her to receive it and enjoy it and to take time away from her life and her boyfriend and her job to spend it with me. So I was in gratitude for her doing it, for having the faith, for her having to shift her perspective to see herself going to Ireland. She had to shift to see herself doing it. So our perspective is how we look at things. And if you look at things from a glass half empty perspective, then you may feel that, oh, that'll never happen. So we have to shift those thoughts and beliefs to not only will it happen, not only is it possible, it's probable. And you begin to envision it. And the more that you envision your vision, you envision it every day, you think about it every day, you dream about it every day, you sit in meditation while you focus on that thought, it can't help but materialize. And then of course, there is that gut thing, that belief that you have that strong faith, I know it will happen because the universe takes care of me and what I think of and focus on takes place. It shows up in my world, in my life. And because I'm grateful for what I have, I am open to receive more. So the more gratitude that we have for what we have, the more we receive. 
And of course, we are meant to give our love away. We are meant to give our wisdom away. This is why I do these videos, because this is part of my calling. I am giving the wisdom that I have gained, the things that I've learned to you, because still my heart, it gives me joy to do so. It, I am so grateful for you watching because it gives me great joy to be helping other people. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'd love to see what your dreams are. What is it you would like to materialize in your life? And let's do it. I know you can, and I will be here to support you doing it. So I'd love to see what is it you dream of? What is it you want to have happen? So I, I have to, I'm being reminded to tell you that earlier this year, I was in Scotland. I went to Orkney Island, which was a dream of mine. And Alan Jenkins and I, he toured me all around Orkney Island. So that is two overseas trips in one year for me, two holidays, two weeks off work. And, you know, last year or the year before, I, I, I wouldn't even have considered two overseas trips in one year. And I'm hearing next year I might have four or five. So everything is possible everything is possible if you believe it is so when you start to shift your perspective recognizing your power and each of us has power but we need to believe in it we need to trust that it is there we need to know that we are powerful beings and that we are infinite powerful beings we are meant to live richly. Now, what does that mean? So to have a rich life, I had a uh, boyfriend long ago say to me, Jennifer, you live a rich life. And I said, really? <laughs> I was living in a, an old 100-year-old farmhouse in Georgia, and there were 100-year-old oak trees surrounding it. I was on seven acres. I had horses that were gifted to me. It was a beautiful life. I had my landscape business and my daughter and my son were there. Um, it was a beautiful experience and I was giving from my heart. So what he saw was the way I was living my life. And so surrounded by beauty, giving to others, receiving, you know, graciously. So we are not meant to hoard our love or our money. We are not meant to hoard our love or our money. So we are meant to put our money in circulation. Now on this trip to Ireland, I will tell you, I circulated money. I tipped well. I bought clothes for my daughter in Ireland. I spent money. So I was circulating that money. And I know that what I send out comes back to me a thousandfold. So just repeat that. What I give out comes back to me a thousandfold. And I gratefully give and receive. I gratefully give and receive. So I'm going to go back to the perspective because that is the power. How you view your life is what you will see tomorrow. So if you begin to see yourself as an infinite radiant being of light, a creator and you have the faith that you can that you can find that vortex and manifest what it is that you wish for and how do you do that you can step into the vortex by looking at all the things that you've achieved what have I achieved in the last 30 days or 90 days what have I earned what have I done how have I served the planet how have I how have I helped my family how have I grown what have I learned you know did you sign up for a, a university course did you start painting um, did you finish your book that's success so celebrate those successes they will help to spur you forward and then at the same time envision your infinite possibilities your infinite self is capable of so much more than yesterday's self is when you when you look back at the last five years you look back where were you five years ago maybe then you were doing something that you were ooh, I don't know if I should do this and now you're a master at it five years later 
your perspective changed. So changing our perspective, it allows us to see ourselves differently. It allows us to see our life differently. And it allows us to see others differently. So again, <laughs> write what you would like to achieve down below. Post, I want to see. And if you have questions for me, you can always uh, get to me through my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com. And my email is the same at gmail.com, jenniferelizabethmasters at gmail.com. And I, I do help people overcome depression and suicide, um, give up vaping, um, any kind of addictive behaviors. But the bottom line is, is what I help people with, is I help you be the best you that you can be. I help you achieve the life of your dreams by loving who you are and seeing yourself in a different way, in a different light, elevated, transcend all that misery and pain so that you can have the life of your dreams. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And if you like this video, share it with a friend. Thanks.